is I-70 traffic on a Thursday afternoon. I guess there's an accident up ahead somewhere. Kind of bumper to bumper. It's at least moving a little bit. 20-ish miles an hour. Ah, knock on wood. I guess I jinxed us. <laughs> Usually driving through Indiana on I-70 is a peaceful drive for the most part. It's a nice straight stretch. You can sit back, relax, put on some great independent music and enjoy yourself. Sometimes when there's an accident, you have a long stretch with no exits. This is what you have to deal with. Speeding up and slowing down of traffic is not uh, indicative of an accident. Makes me wonder what might be going on up ahead. I don't know how far in the distance you can see on the camera, but as far as I can see, there's a line of vehicles going up the hill. Traffic seems to stretch ever onward. Traffic isn't anything to be happy about either. on the opposite side of the highway, of course, is flowing smooth and clear. I'll try changing lanes. Usually that's a mistake. In my experience, if you're in traffic and you're moving, it doesn't matter how fast the other lane's moving, stay where you're at, because eventually the other lane will be going slower than you are anyway. Traffic video is boring. <laughs> we'll take a little pause for a moment until we see what develops. What we were doing as fast as 60 there for a moment or two, but we're back down to 20 miles an hour. 
traffic uh, just continues to bunch up. Time like, times like these when you wish you had well, I don't know, some method of finding out what was going on in traffic up ahead, you know, years ago in the 70s. And I guess truckers still use them. CBs, you could find out what was going on, but uh, where the heck can you even find a CB anymore? And who wants to listen to all that chatter the rest of the time you're driving? you can get up to the minute traffic reports, but out here in the middle of nowhere, Indiana cornfield country, or I don't know cornfields right here, but in this type of area in Indiana between the cities, there's not a whole lot of traffic report information available on demand. But it looks like we're making progress again, so we'll check check back again briefly. Quite a distance up ahead, oh, mile or two, I guess, but at 30 miles an hour, that's quite a distance. I'm finally seeing what looks to be the emergency lights. So maybe we will be finding out soon the exact cause of all this delay. Well, I guess what I saw weren't emergency lights after all, maybe. We've crested the hill where I thought I saw them. And nothing except for traffic. We may have come upon something. Traffic's come to a brief standstill, in this lane anyway. Still no indication of what lies ahead. Hopefully we will find out soon and get past it soon and be moving again at a normal highway rate. I guess that's what was causing the big delay. Rather oversized hauler with a police escort that they've now moved off the highway, it appears, to maybe allow the backed up traffic to get through. That's what it appears to be anyway, because well now we're moving at a 60 mile an hour clip pretty steadily. Pretty amazing, isn't it? You've got to move those large containers somehow. Let's just hope that's what it was. And things are going to be once again flowing at the promised 70 mile an hour. Could have been me caught up in an accident, could have been anyone caught up in an accident. Apparently, no one was hurt. That is never a bad 